back in the studio and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the CP 3.7. This wasn't my best experience, but it wasn't my worst either. And let me tell you why. First off, let's start with the traction. As you can see here, you have typical herringbone, which is always good. It's sectioned off into little sections or pods rather that covers the whole shoe. However, this exact model right here known as the Bel Air has the translucent outsole and it kind of held me back a little bit. Translucent outsoles are great on clean floors, but regular floors that I normally hoop on, it wasn't that good for me. I wasn't able to plant as good as I wanted to and I slipped a little bit more than I expected. Yet I do know that's because of the translucent outsoles so you can guarantee if you get the other models without the translucent outsoles then you will be fine. I repeat, you will be fine. As far as performing in the shoe outside, I wasn't able to take this particular model outside but I'm pretty sure that it will perform just as well as any other shoe outside so if you plan on hooping outside then you should be pretty good too. As far as the cushioning, they used this podge like cushioning setup which felt normal to me. It did its job when absorbing some of the shock after jumping so in my opinion you can't go wrong with this setup. The lockdown was good, good containment. I had these laced all the way up to the top eyelet this time as you guys may have saw in the footage and I'm still not a big fan of the Achilles pillow but it did get the job done. I didn't get the chance to experience the CP 3.6 AEs which didn't have the pillow compared to these and which did. However, I will say that this shoe still gave you that good lockdown that you needed when it's all said and done. Ventilation was good. You get your ventilation from your mesh tongue, of course, and also from your lateral and medial vents. Although your foot is contained within the inner sock liner, the vents will still allow you to get some form of breathability. From what I've noticed, every CP 3.7 will have a different variety of synthetic materials along the upper. Every CP 3.7 will have fly wire along the sides, which again has proven itself worthy. And you can expect your regular mesh tongue with the CP 3 logo. As far as your fitting, the shoe runs true to size. If you wear a 10, get a 10. 10. To wrap everything up, I think it was a pretty good shoe. I wouldn't suggest this exact shoe because of the traction with the translucent outsole, which is big with me. You guys know how I am with traction, but the other ones, yeah, you'll enjoy them. I think this shoe here was made more for rocking purposes since the, the whole Bel Air trend was started. And to be honest, it actually doesn't look that bad with like some sweatpants or a pair of jeans. Again, I'm just here as a guide for you. At the end of the day, you buy what you like. Oh yeah, appreciate the guy over at House of Hoops for letting me get these a couple of days early. I think he let me get them like the Wednesday before. They came out on that Saturday, so I was able to hoop in them a little bit before. But I definitely appreciate you for that. That's a good look, bro. Other than that, I thank you guys for tuning in. But before I forget, make sure you guys still and always check out kicksoncourt.com for all your performance needs. This is Jay Jones with Kick Genius. I'm out.